Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to fix an iPad that won't turn on. So if you want to fix an iPad that won't turn on or start, this is going to be an easy iPad tutorial for you to follow along with. So if your iPad won't turn on or start, you got to follow these steps. So this iPad, I know for a fact that the battery is dead and that's why it's not turning on. So that leads me basically into the first thing, which is if you're not sure if the battery is dead or not, what you want to do is make sure that you press the home and the power button together until you see the Apple logo. So you want to press the home and the power button together until you see the Apple logo. Now, if you have a newer iPad, it could be a different set of buttons. So what you want to do is just look online at your model of iPad and look at how to reset it. Okay. So you want to see if that works and if that if the battery is charged up it should work but if the battery is not charged like this and if the battery has been dead for a while like this then you want to move on to step number two which is um, to charge it for a long while now I would recommend leaving your iPad like just set it on the charger walk away because you know like they say paint watching paint dry takes a long time walk away charge it for at least 30 to 60 minutes I to be honest with you when my other old iPhone had had died and I'd left it alone for a long time I think I had to charge it for like two hours or three hours before it started up again because the battery was so drained so charge it for a long time okay and then try and turn it on see if that works see if you can start it up okay the third thing that you want to do is connect it to a computer and restore it now if you cannot get it to start or turn on and you've tried the home and the power button together and you've tried charging it and it just won't start or it just won't turn on then you should try connecting connecting it to a computer because then it can trigger the software to deal with the computer instead of the buttons that you're using here and that and so and you want to restore it now remember when you're restoring it you're going to try and restore it from a backup that you have had if you have a backup restore it to you know a, a, a one that was done before and if you don't have a backup then unfortunately when you restore it, you're probably going to end up losing your data but i mean it's better than buying a completely new ipad so you know you got to kind of pick one or the other okay the fourth thing that you want to do if that doesn't work is you want to clean the charging port okay and plug it in again because maybe it's not making a solid connection so this is an older style ipad that's why it has this older style charging port but the lightning ports are way easier to clean very easy to clean take a look i i believe that i did a tutorial a few years ago on cleaning an, a, a lightning port inside of an ipad or an iphone so check it out type it in I'm, I'm pretty sure i've done one if not drop a comment below and i'll do another one but essentially you want to clean this because you know you're 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 charging your charging Charging cable might not be making a good connection with the iPad. So clean it up. Also, make sure that your charging cable works. Plug your charging cable into a different iDevice, an iPhone or an iPod, and make sure that the actual cable works, okay? Um, the next thing is you want to take a look at the button because maybe the battery's charged, but maybe the actual button is not working properly. So you want to examine the button and potentially clean the button. So look at the button right over here. You want to examine it, make sure it looks okay. You know, make sure you hear that clicking sound and you feel that, hear that right there? And you feel that tactile response because that's going to let you know the button's working fine for the most part. But clean it, touch it, make sure that it's working fine. And then last but not least, if you've tried all of those things and they don't work, which they probably should. If your, if your iPad is still working, one of those steps should work. But if not, then you got to seek professional help. Go and bring it in to a professional and see if they can open it up maybe or connect it to their software and see if they can do it. Because I know at the Apple Store, they're really good with being able to connect it and diagnose the problem. But that's basically it. In this video, I have told you and shown you an easy, a few easy ways to fix an iPad that won't turn on or start. And this has been a simple, easy iPad tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.